<sighs> I told you they need us. But if you go, what else can happen to you? Exactly. What worse can there be? I mean, I almost... <clears throat> I survived a lot. So, yeah, what, what's the worst that could happen? But you have kids now. You have a family. And why would you want to put yourself in? They helped us. And I helped them. Okay, okay. I get helping my sister. I get helping Dally, Hugo, and my... And with Amalia, but does not mean you have to risk your life every time there could be a problem. <sighs> How about this? I'll oh, he'll hear them out. At the very least, I'll hear them out. Hear what's going down. See. If I may even be needed. I mean, at <laughs> the very least, I should try. Right? I, uh, I, uh, I'm not sure. Like I said, you have me, you have, you know, our kids. I know. I I know. Believe me, I know. But at the end of the day, you go and even Adam I are family to me. You can't just abandon them. <sighs> Sometimes you're just too nice for your own good. No kidding. I mean, all things considered, I have been rather reckless. At the very least, at time regulation, the, you know, the added benefit of having a large pool of whack food, thanks to being part elotrope and part dragon. Even Angregar could be tolerable. <laughs> Just wait until I can take over your mind. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm too strong willed. But your kids aren't. Eh. You forget who raised them. Whatever. Are you taking me with you? Nope. What? You could use abilities like mine. True. But just in case something does... <coughs> Excuse me? I mean... Just in case something happens while I'm not here, I need you to protect them. Or just be a shield, just in case they need protecting. You really just said that with a straight face. I did. I, I, I can't believe this. How did it come to this? You got your ass whooped. You, your whole team, your army of shoe shoes, lost. And I beat you into submission. And now you're part of the family. <laughs> right. Fine. Whatever. So you're really just going to leave a shoe shoe with your wife and kids.
<laughs> because I know for a fact that she can handle you like it's can. <laughs> I possessed a dragon before. Yep, you have. But never. Uh, uh, pretty much a quad bred. Craw human. Egotrope dragon. <laughs> you do have a point. It'll be stupid to try. If you don't come back and destroy me, that's just gonna stop them from doing it. <sighs> Yes, I see you learn fast. Nah. Whatever, just get it back soon before I decide to be less pleasant. Good. It's good to see how you can learn for being so old. Is it good flying off through a portal? Riding right at the sedate kingdom. As, yeah, everyone else shows up. Uh, okay. <sighs> Talk to me. What's going on? Uh, where's my sister? Hey, but don't worry. I left them. And you're, you know... Nieces, nieces and nephews. There, I, I live in my home with it. Why? Why aren't they here? Because chances are it's going to be safer for them if they're not in the middle of whatever crap is going on this time. And I, I'm not going to lie, I am only here to see if I want to help. What? Hmm? Hello, Amelia's brother. <sniffs> Amelia's brother. You will treat me with respect. <sniffs> no, I won't. I shan't do that. No. I don't like you at all. You are an arrogant bastard. Who likes to throw his weight around. At least the way of his name and heritage, and I don't like that. You kind of remind me of an asshole I ever used to. <clears throat> Either way, why in the hell did you want us here? Well, you know about Ogre's chaos, right? Yeah. Well, he's crying. What? Yeah, and if you look outside, he's like you seeing the potential flood. No. Yeah. So, did you think of any measures that could help? Yeah. Thing is, the measures we took to, you know, prevent the kingdom from f flooding, <laughs> it's uh, uh, it's been stolen, all six of them. Oh, but what's been stolen? Six dofus. <coughs> what? Is that my? Hey, Yugo. What these of you are shocked to hear this? Am I going to be more pissed? Like, you did what? You found. You found. In your trove. You found them. And. You brought them here. Where they got stolen. 
Y yes. <laughs> you guys are idiots. It's bad enough that you went behind Hugo and my hell, even my back to hunt these things down. But you also expected us, or at least one or two of us, to help you use them. Uh, yeah. And to top it all off, they've been stolen by an unknown f figure. Actually, what? We know who stole them. Really? Yes, we know the culprit. Who has at least two of them that we know of. Okay. Hmm. And what? They want to negotiate? Yes. For unity between our kingdoms. Okay. So, wait a minute. Unity. You see, you have a peace treaty or something, or he wants the hand of my daughter. What? He wants to marry Amalia. That's his only condition. As Izuku was looking at Hugo, seeing the hurt expression, Dali, of course, being an idiot, is like, Congratulations! Like, Dali, do you, do you not know what that means? Yeah, she means she's getting married. Good for her. You are a complete and total yacht brain. You don't even get it. You don't really understand at all, do you? What? What do you mean? Uh, what? What? What is there to understand? I can't believe you're my brother-in-law. Uh, what? Actually, what? We, um, what? Don't tell me you're not married yet. Mm. Ava, uh, you had kids with this yacht brain, but you ain't put a ring on it yet. Uh, that was like, yeah, technically, no, though, yes, we have kids, we're together, we're not, oh, well, this is just wonderful, just problems with my problem. <laughs> hmm? what is it? Something smells off. I can't put my finger on it. No, it's probably nothing. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. I'm sure I'm just overreacting. This, yeah, no doubt a lot's been going on since we last spoke. It doesn't matter. Uh, right. Right, right. So, what sh shall we do? You know, especially like, uh, yeah, what are our options here? Malia just snapping. He's like, this is, we have no choice. Well, the Dofus, this whole kingdom is pretty much sunk. 
if I can at the very least, you know, stop it, I'm out of here. You do know how strong I am, right? Yes. I'm sure you haven't been slacking since our last... You know. Right. No, I haven't. In fact, I've gotten a bit better at using these powers. I mean, all things considered. As Zuko just makes a sword, a katana, out of black whip, and just infuses it with whack food. Uh, yes, I would say you really have gotten better at control. I mean, heck, I did use a portal to get here. Him seeing the sword. So. You're gonna get hitched. You hear that, Hugo? <sighs> yeah, I bet you did. So, we're just gonna hand you off to him. He gives us the dofus. And that's pretty much it. Yes. Now, where is this place? As Zuku hears of how cold it's gonna be, he's like, Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I'm getting sick of the cold! It's not fair! Uh, right. Uh. So, who's coming with us? And his message artist is pretty much, I'll go with you. And my volunteer to go with Jaris. But he's usually like, I'll go with you guys too. Master Jaris being a little, uh, little worried, saying, mm, No, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm sure we don't need the overkill. What do you mean? I mean, we're going to go collect the dofus. At least two of them, right? What we need as much potential force as possible? Yes, yes, but... <sighs> there's no need for a chainsaw when a scalpel will do. When a scalpel is... Required. Uh, all right. Hmm. That's strange. But I understand your reasoning. Thank you. I guess I'll go with you guys. Uh. Are you sure, Izuku? Come on, you go. What's one more adventure for friends and family? But are you sure, Anamai? And Master Jars, you wouldn't want me there with you? E e yeah. What if you get hurt? <laughs> you underestimate me. Of course not, out of my. I'm sure you've been training as well. The past. How long was it again? How long was it since you turned me into this? keep telling you I'm sorry. When will you forgive me? Uh, that's up for you. 
and me to the side, isn't it? No, we don't need your help. Alright, fine. I guess I'll just leave you and me. Uh, what about you, Master Josh? You sure you don't want my help? No. No, 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 no. I don't need your help. We, we don't need your help. Besides, it should be an easy operation. Very well. So yeah, you're going with you guys. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Don't worry. If anything goes sideways, you can bet me and you go. We'll be there for you. Just make sure I can come home to my family. And we'll be square. But don't expect too many more favors afterwards. As yes, everyone's off to their own li little missions. Am I being still held guilty for what he's done? Mixed up with the fact that, yeah, Master Yaris has been unusually cautious around Izuku for some reason. But by this time, Izuku is very mm, blunt. Where he talks to Yugo like, I told you, I told you, I told you. I told you once, I told you a thousand times. I told you to confess your feelings for Amalia, but you don't seem to want to listen. Mm -hmm. You don't seem to get it, Yugo. Unlike Kilby. And I'm not sure about me. You and am I, for as much as I know, don't remember anything about your past lives. Not a thing. We are immortal. We will continue to live on, even after everyone else dies. That's why we have to make the most of life. <laughs> what? I swear you should say that when you're enjoying the quiet life with your wife and kids. Of course. That's all I need. I've lived a full life. More than what I anticipated when I first came here. Back in my old world, I would have been a hero, possibly. The quirk I've been gifted by no one hero. You know that. I've gotten stronger. I still want to go home. I miss it so much. But after all these years, will my own mother know my face? If she's even still around. I don't know. I want to go home. Show off my family to, well, everyone. But I'm also scared to what I come home to. I, if I ever do find a way home, which I try my best to do that, but I don't know what I'm coming home back to. I don't know if even All Might is still around. I don't know how much has changed, yet I still try to go home and bring my family with me. So, even though you're scared of the possible futures, that doesn't give me any excuse to stop trying.
we never know what's going to happen in the future. But one thing's for sure. It's coming, whether we want it to or not. Yes, we are immortal. We may not remember our past lives, but they do. The people we've met, the lives we changed with our actions. When we defeated Knox, when we defeated Kelby, the Shoe Shoes, that is what matters. Though, yes, they're gonna all die, and we'll leave them behind, but that makes our time here now much more precious than you really can think of. Imagine Amalia is about to marry someone who may die alongside her, but you and I, hell, everyone knows that she loves you, but you choked. You took too long. She can't wait forever. You can and won't even remember her name, so you should. value the time you have. That's what I've been doing, and to a lesser extent, personal. <sighs> you must be serious. What makes you think I wasn't? You, call, you didn't call him Dally. <clears throat> Either way, yeah. Uh, even though this yup brain idiot still hasn't proposed to my sister-in-law. It's frustrating enough as it is. Don't make me say he's smarter than you, you go. Please don't make me say that. <laughs> well, depending on how this wedding goes, You know. <sighs> yeah, like I really wanted to want her to bring her here. I know you don't. Right now, I bet you're plotting with that brain of yours and that there's gotta be some ulterior motive. Because that's what it boils down to, right? Something isn't right here at all. I am a firm believer of that. I mean, seriously, how does he keep the people here, you know, warm? Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, they're ice people. Or they really like the cold. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll find out soon enough. All that matters is we finish our mission. And if there is something that could potentially screw this up, you know, make it so they don't have to get married. Are you saying I should cling to hope? Sometimes that's all you have. I guess you're right. I know I'm right. Now, let's catch up with everyone else before they think I'm trying to do something nefarious. What do you mean? There was something off 
with uh, Master Jarus. That smell. I've gotten more tuned to using my enhanced senses, even making them a bit stronger with the guide of Wakfu as well as one for all. The only thing is, I didn't smell cat. What? You, you know what I mean. Uh, I smelled it just not as much as it should be. This day of people, considering how many were in attendance, I could smell you, Adam, I, and pretty much everyone else clear as day. Your scent hasn't changed at all, but for some odd reason, Jars smelled different. A lot different than what I'm used to. And that's just in the few instances in which I've seen him. So you're saying chances are there's more of this than we realize. Which also means I could get, get end up dead. Uh, or worse, I'll get even more power. What's so funny? Uh, you're one of the few people I ever met who will complain about having more power. Mm. Well, uh, seriously, I'm already a powerhouse. My kids have started to, you know, wait, so their part, you, yeah. Those wings are beautiful as they fly. And they've gotten better at shape shifting. Like dragons. This but still any more power we could be seen as a real threat. You understand that? I mean you are Iliotro, but Amai's a dragon. I want to scare you because they know you guys as who you are, but though they warmed up to me, I just keep getting more power. First, he is with Nox, then the Iliotro dragon DNA, and now as well as you know, subjugating Agatha. <laughs> What's so? Uh, no one understands how powerful I really am. Let alone how powerful I can become. And one thing for certain: when people don't know about something, they get. Scared. They get cautious. And that's how you end up with super weapons. Who are, that, who were made by the people you trusted. As a contingency plan to take you down. You really think anyone would try to hurt you? No. They'll try to kill me. You're just... You're just a little overreacting, don't you think? Am I? Think of it like this. Say... Ogres. Uh, what about him? Say he came down here and wanted to fight. Say he was angry instead of crying. And I was able to beat him. Then what? Ah, uh, I would think you were amazing. And yeah, you 
would think I was amazing. Everyone else would see me as a monster. Uh, that's, that's not, don't lie to me, you know it's true. And I can't blame them. Be completely honest, I feel as though I'm a bit of a monster too. Yeah. But all this trauma I go through. All this power I'm accumulating. It's ridiculous. It's not fair. Yes, I can protect people I care about, but uh, get that off me. Mm, okay, um, I really, really want to avoid getting more power. I don't want anyone getting hurt, especially my family. When it comes down to it, it may be me versus everyone. And I'll have to make a choice. And I'll choose my family over everything. When it comes down to it, I'll kill everyone to protect them. What? There'll be nothing left once I'm done. So, let's make sure, and I mean it, make for damn sure that I'll get too much power. Ugh. Can you promise me that you go? Uh, I, I, I don't know how to. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> In that case, let's hope it doesn't come to that. The good last thing I want is to kill you or Adam and I. What? Hey, you count as everybody, don't you? Uh. 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 <clears throat> as soon as they arrive to this pretty much frozen tundra like place, they know us. Yeah, it's warmer than what they were expecting, especially Zuku's like, what, what? Seeing the King of Frost himself, or at least Count, it doesn't matter, pretty soon. Zuku's already skeptical when he talks about his methods for heating up the place. Like, so these are furnaces, correct? Oh, furnaces need a lot of fuel, especially for uh, ones of this magnitude, don't you think? Mm, yeah, yeah, that would be, that's correct. Where are you getting the fuel from? Okay, that's, that's, that's enough. Oh, come on, Amalia. You know something doesn't seem right, don't you? Come on. Be honest. Something stinks around here. It's not just rule. Oh! Your words hurt me. Like a sword. Yeah, you don't get to pull that crap knowing how. I am very much telling you the truth. It's better me be honest than lie to you straight to your face. Uh, 
You wound me. Yeah, what else is no? No, okay, so. What fuel do you use? That's enough. Uh, Malia, I. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop interrogating him. He's a good guy. He wants to protect his people as well as mine. So we should just. We can, can we just get this over with? <sighs> okay, you you escorted me here, so now you can leave. What? You heard me. You can leave. That means you too. You go. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. Ah. Uh, you go. You heard her. That's. Let's go. I... Fine. Fine. Let's... Let's, uh... Let's leave the happy couple. Hmm. As then... Isugu... He can't help but feel a little bit more cautious, or at very least thinking, okay, something definitely doesn't feel right. As he gets a closer look with no one looking at what's really being put into the forest, as soon as he sees the trees, that's why you want. To unify the data, keeping them with yours. As yes, Amalia is gone already. He told Hugo and everyone else about it. yeah, they're using trees as fuel. He's gonna cut down trees of the data and use them to keep this place well lit and toasty. Upon the beans being spilled, this is when the attack happens to get frozen. But Zuku's like, Ugh, you did not prepare enough for this. What? Come on, the ice is magic. You can't break it, you can't melt it. It's indestructible. Ugh. For normal people, yes. But. I don't think you were prepared to take on a tribrid. What? As these starts to grow in size, and these buggers are freaking out like, wait, there was only supposed to be one dragon. What's another one? As Izuku pretty much slams his tail down and deals with them particularly easy. That is until the kids want to join in the fun, and yeah, Dally does end up going berserk, yap god mode, impressing everyone, especially Izuku considering, what the hell, how strong is this yap? Is yeah, pretty much, no joke, everyone has been dealt with swiftly, and there's pretty much nothing else to really do. So yes, Izuku goes to check on Dally and everything, and you he, he goes to handle business, telling him about the same thing. Like yeah, they're using trees as fuel. That's what they want data for. That's what, and it goes as you would expect. She slaps this man with the force of God, and the fight ensues. This time, Izugu, he's not missing this fight because he already hates the cold and being encased in it just to break out of it, and still being in a place where there is ice and snow everywhere, he wants revenge for making this so unpleasant for him. Go figure. So, yeah, 
as Count, what's his name, or at least Count Cannon Fodder, as I like to call him, as he tries to fight Izuku, Izuku just freeze, slows down time, and he hits him with a thousand punches. This man's soul is almost leaving his body by the time time speeds back up again. And yeah, that's all she wrote. When it comes to the whole citizens and everything, they're still like he saved us. So, <sighs> you know what? I don't. I don't like this place at all. Uh, what are you talking about? I think this place could use uh, a better heater than those furnaces. What? Oh, you heard me. I'm thinking about uh, turning up the heat. No. Izuku, please don't. What? You shouldn't. Please? No. Please don't do this. Uh, but, but. Do, 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 do what? What's he planning on doing? What he really wants to do is... Uh, he wants to... Use fire. Excuse me? Yeah... Well, no more fire is it gonna... Do anything? He's like, oh yeah, I know, I know. But one of the things for certain, uh, dragon fire is a lot stronger. Uh, what? As Izuku starts breathing fire all around the place, ice is melting. Everyone is shocked at the way this. I says magic. How are you, dragon slash Eliotropin? Magic is superior. As things are melting, Izuku is kind of going overboard with the melting process. While everyone's like, "Okay, we need to get out of here." Luckily. Izuku is much more happy. <laughs> Just like, okay, again, these portals while I melt this popsicle. In which, yeah, though they do suffer the terrible, terrible agony that is the sickness and the nausea, they're safe. Izuku, pretty much burning. Melting everything to the ground, securing dofus and everything. But he does end up melting pretty much everyone else. And what I mean by this is pretty much, as you can imagine, he's he melts down. You know who. And his sons. As, yeah. So they come through a portal and find out, yeah, we were ambushed at our own home. So the one who was with Adam I is not our dad. So, yeah. That happened. As everything else just goes as it were in the canon. The only thing is. Izuku, hearing that Dali, of all people, is the reincarnation of the Yop God. He's pissed. 
He is beyond. It's like, are you kidding me? Of all the people to gift with godhood, you give it to this idiot. What the hell? Why? What sense does this make? Oof. And then he's like, okay, so here's the thing. We want to rematch with, with our uh, brother. Huh? Yeah, us. We want we, we want our paid. We want our rematch. But are you sure? How, how are, you, are you sure you can be him? It's like, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Just worry about getting to Adam I. Oh, very well. If anything, all I can say is later. You go still going with him, and that goes as it would in canon. One thing is, when Izuku does appear to save Adam I, he's he starts listening and realizing, wait, she's letting him go with the Dofus. Why? Huh, this might be something to talk to Adamai about later. Hmm. I just hope he's not making another stupid decision. As he does end up picking up the whole conversation and everything, he's like, are you kidding me? So we're not supposed to use the Dofus to say this a day of kingdom. Okay. I guess we will have to think of other options. As he does teleport back and he, he does want to tell everyone what he saw and heard, but he just like, no, no. Let's wait. He'll tell you go. But Hugo is no yop. He's not going to spill everything. So, at the end of the day, as soon as he does show up, the dude decides to split the dofus, and Delhi does end up saving the kingdom, and then going off on his own just to fight Ogress alone. Everyone does just the same thing when it comes to using their dofus. Amai is very against it, of course. And this is when he's... Uh, is because of what Echo said? Wait, what? You heard me. So, you know... Oh, I know. <sighs> okay. So, what? Are you gonna... No, no. We want you, you to explain yourself. Look, I got the Dofus back. We, we have them. And you don't want to use them to say Dally. Just saying no one made him go. <sighs> so, everyone's in agreement then. We're going to abandon Dally. Everyone's silent. Except Hugo, who demands the Dofus. Zigo stops him from doing something stupid. We don't need him. What? We already have access to six dofus. What? Oh, yeah. Think of it like this. Ogrist ate six of them, didn't he? Yeah, but how are you... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 please, please tell me you're joking. Look, it may not sound like the best plan. 
What is he talking about? What is he talking about exactly? He's either going to get eaten by Ogress so he can get the Dofus out of his stomach and weaken him, or he's going to punch Ogress so hard that he throws up the Dofus. Yep. Just like Gohan did with Perfect Cell. What? Nothing. It's an anime reference you wouldn't understand. What's anime exactly? <sighs> All things that's left to do is to... I guess, take on Ogres. Which, it's a lot easier said than done, especially for Izuku. One, Ogres is hungry. All the time, he has a ball in his stomach. His stomach is a pocket dimension in itself. His stamina, infinite. His healing is beyond godly. Hell, he fought God before, and it was a standstill. I said he fought gods, not a god. So, yeah. Not to mention he's weakened them. He was able to fight on equal footing with the gods, and he's angry. He has been betrayed by the person he loves. He's been pretty much abandoned by the one who created him. And, yeah, he has every right to be in his feelings. No joke, no, no, there's no joke, can't matter in that. So yeah, he has every right to be as mad as he is, as sad as he is. So, Zuku, though he does start to fight punching, kicking, and blessing him with fire, waku, portal, beams, and everything, he decides to try the more diplomatic approach. As he starts laughing, everyone is confused. Dally's confused. Yugo's confused. Even Ogre's like, wait, why are you laughing? You guys are getting stomped. What? Aren't you having fun? Uh, what? Yeah. I mean, hell, I'm having fun with this fight, aren't you? I thought you guys were here to... Aren't you here to kill me? No. It's just a sparring match. Don't, don't you know what that is? Uh... No. I've only been fighting for my life. I'm so sorry to hear that. And now look at you. You're alone. And <sighs> you're scared, aren't you? What? <laughs> what would I have to be scared of? Everyone hating you. Everyone coupling your experience with nothing but misery just for you existing. You were tricked by someone you cared about and abandoned by your own father. Yes. Well, how about this? Give me the Dofus and I can find a safe place for them as well as a fresh start for you. What? Would you like to be part of my family? <laughs>